I think you're really hard pressed to move people to action, whether it's a head of a studio or whether it's a retailer or whether it's a committee you're in, just, just by giving them the numbers, facts, and figures. I mean, it's just really hard. You have to give them its meaning. What does it mean? So that they metabolize it, they emotionalize the information. It changes the, actually their physiology. Because that's what you do. If you think about it, no information that's not bonded with emotion ever really becomes memorable. So if you reverse that and say, I'm going to give these facts and information a memorable experience to my listener, maybe I can drive them to my response that I want, my call to action. In that particular case, before I knew the decoding, I was doing some of it naturally, like everybody does. Everybody does this. They don't want to own it because they think, ah, huh, do I do that? Yes, that's the way you're wired. So what I was stuck with, it, the Warners didn't want to make the movie. It felt at the last minute it was too expensive, too risky, too dangerous, too hard to do. And they had had a terrible experience. They had done my emotional homework. They had a terrible experience with a film called Greystoke, where they had men in gorilla suits that overheated on the stage in London. So I, when I heard that Terry was going to potentially cancel a film, I raced up to his office and got a quick meeting with him. And I said, you can't. This, and I told him the story of the gorillas and why they were so important. All the information and facts. I told him how many were left, why it was important, why they were one click away on the gene line from us, and why studying them was so important. And it was our duty to, to, to respect the other species on the planet. He was listening, listening, listening. And he said, no, it's just too risky and, 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 and too much money. And men in gorilla suits. I said, we're not doing men in gorilla suits. We're doing it with the real gorillas. He said, the real gorillas? How are you doing that? Well, we're going to photograph the real gorillas in Africa first, and then we're going to write the script. He says, the gorillas write the script? You are crazy. Get out of here. I'm not, no, no, no. I said, okay, I'll put some of my money up against the fact that we can complete this on time. He said, he stopped. He thought, mm, that's another piece of information. Still didn't get it. He said, I got to have another meeting. You know, I'll think about it, come back later. That's code for no way. I wasn't going to go out of the door. So I laid down on the floor and I said, I'm laying here. He said, what are you? He said, I'm a felled gorilla. And I told him the story of why these gorillas are being all decimated and disappearing. And this felled gorilla needs him, calling out to him for help. And I then repeated some of the facts. He looked at me, paused, and he heard me. He said, Peter, no, 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 I, I have to think about it. Bring in the next, you have to leave. Bring in the next meeting. I said, I'm not leaving. Next meeting comes in, doesn't see me, he sits down, starts talking to Terry about some things. Suddenly he sees me on the floor. He says, What's that? Whereupon Terry tells the entire, the chairman of the board of the company, told the entire story of the Feld Gorilla with all the information inside. I shouted, I said, you got it. That's exactly what it is. You can save it. He says, okay, okay, get out of here. And I ran out of the door as fast as I could when he said yes. And the guy sitting in the seat said, if I tell, if I lay down on the floor and tell my story, will you make my movie too? <laughs> so, it, you know, do I know every time that that's, that that's going to make the difference? No. But here's what I do know. It's no risk. You don't have to call your doctors after four hours. It's absolutely no risk. It's a jackpot proposition with no risk. Just use narrative as a power to emotionalize your offering, and it works. In sports, in business, in law, in politics, narrative makes up our life. So this is inside of you. Just use any of the tools.